them for pennies. This is why I was so excited when Mike called back in November and said, hey, would you like to partner up and kind of figure out some kind of deal that we can do some kind of promotion because the belt works so well with the methodologies that he works in a two-day event? And Oh my goodness, yes. Because if I can learn how to write better copy like what Mike does and tell better stories, I can do that starting for pennies with the belt. Now, what do you think happens to the Monopoly board? Look at this. But boom. Yep. For pennies, I can go ahead and really start influence. This is the whole belt method. Well, all of a sudden, now we're into solution aware. This is where we start making the money. The money starts to stack pretty quick. This is how large companies stack that bucket. That's how they really feel the bucket. Now, like Mike had said, there are some big companies out there that are filling this bucket and they still don't know how to do landing pages correctly. They still don't know how to run ads correctly. Now, I'm saying this about other large corporations to let you know there is a lot of opportunity out there. But I also want to draw a line in the sand for you and basically let you know that it's okay if you don't have this all figured out either. Maybe this is the opportunity where you come down for the two-day event with Mike and myself to kind of help figure some of that stuff out. But see, what ends up happening is a lot of people are trying to fight for that space at the very, very, very top. We can control the board for pennies with the right influence. So, well, it's time to make some tough decisions. And this is some of the tough decisions that I wanted to let you know that I am looking at overall with our ad account. So I'm sitting in a mastermind a couple of days ago. I was on Thursday. And there's about seven people in the room. And some of these people are regarded as the top copywriters in the world. I think there was three of them in there that did that. There's some people that sell high-end coaching uh, systems. There's someone who has a YouTube channel that has over a billion views. And I think it was 45 days they achieved that one. Uh, there's, some, uh, there's some top podcasters in the world, some pretty interesting people. And as I was sitting down with someone who's been in the online business for about 15 years, I go, I go man, you know, you know what my biggest problem is with this belt thing right now? He goes, well, what's that? And I go, well, I don't know what, how to explain this, but uh, basically I got to figure out where to allocate the budget at. Because the problem is, is, when working with the budget, it's critical to understand where to allocate your budget and the journey so you can achieve your overall goals, of course. But what happens if everything is working? Then what do you turn down, right? You want to get to the point where this ad works and that ad works. What happens when you have 40 ads that are working and you're spending $1,000 a day? Now we're talking about risk tolerance. Do we spend more money? Do we spend less money? Well, when we talk about budget, we got to start talking about our bucket goals. Well, what goals are we in? I got to be in bucket number one. Okay, you know, it's going to be tough to get there, but we're going to figure that one out. It's a little bit easier to get into bucket number three, but how long are we going to hang on, right? So let me show you this. So what are we going to do next? Well, let me show you what our next opportunity is so I can show you in real time exactly how we would manage this belt. You can use this for e-commerce. You can use this for lots of other different types of businesses. But let me give you a perfect example. Okay. So Nick and I are in bucket three. Nick and I are gonna invest some ad spend and what we're doing is we're not hoping, we got a plan. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up demand for our next open enrollment. So when we wanna build up demand for our next open enrollment, we have our free group, we're gonna build up a bunch of content. So I need to start thinking through these buckets. This is exactly the video I'm actually gonna cut when I'm done here. I got to start thinking through my own buckets as I record the next watch you work, watch me work video. Cause I got to make some big decisions. So right now, and this is actually, this is actually good for me to go through my business partner with this and make these decisions right now. So actually Nick, um, I know that you're working on some stuff in the background. If you don't mind coming out for just a minute, I want to walk through this with you. We might as well just do this in real time. And I would love for you and I to have an open discussion without you yelling and screaming and calling me names like you do. I'm just joking, that's never happened. Um, but I would like to have a real-time discussion of what we would like to do for open enrollment after I give you these numbers. So people can just kind of see like what other decisions we're gonna make and I'll actually record the next videos of what decisions we make here. So top of funnel right now, we're running about seven to $800 a day. And right now we gotta kind of figure out is, hey, we don't wanna spend all that money till the end of the month, but we don't wanna spend short, so what do we do? So top of funnel right now, video views. Right now for video views, that's my biggest bucket that I can start picking up people for if I have a limited budget. Now, when I'm saying a limited budget, I'm not saying that Nick won't allow me to spend more money. I'm saying I want to figure out our overall risk tolerance. You don't know if the power is going to go out the day you're going to do your big presentation. So you shouldn't spend like the guy with Bitcoin. You shouldn't leverage your entire house with Bitcoin because you think it's going to do something tomorrow and now he's homeless. 
So let's take a look at the biggest bucket for the lowest amount of spend, the biggest bang for my buck. I got all these videos running top of funnel. Well, for an average of a 25% view, it's about five to seven minutes, if I think about all these videos, for about five to seven minutes, I can get 25 cents. Well, that'll fill my bucket pretty quick, right? Well, all right. Well, I can fill my bucket pretty quick with these 25 cent views, depending on what my budget is, but let's look at the next thing that we're running. So I'm running link clicks. So right now I'm running link clicks to the Mike Diller uh, podcast, because if you listen to the podcast, the phone starts ringing off the hook, so I'm running some link clicks, again, top of funnel. So someone's gonna click, and I'm retargeting them for 25 cents top of funnel, or my other option is, people can click for 78 cents. So I can either get people to watch a video, three people to watch a video, or I get one person to click on a link to go back to the podcast. Now, some people would say, go with the video views, they're cheaper. I gotta figure out what serves us best. So at 78 cents a click, I can fill up this bucket, but it's a little bit more expensive to fill up that bucket, right? So let's talk about our leads. Our goal is $15 lead cost. That's our goal. If we get $10 cost per lead, we get pretty excited. Thing is, it's a pretty small bucket overall. Everyone wants to get leads, but you run the math. You saw video views have a much bigger bucket. Link clicks, eh, not as big. I mean, you know, I can get three for one special, three video views to one link click. But what about leads? Well, right now our lead cost is $8.83 or 63 cents, which is below 15 bucks. But the thing is, I can get a bunch of leads, which is a good lead cost. But if I just keep on spending and investing money in leads, quickly this can start to add up. And quite honestly, this can start leaving money kind of run all over. So what we got to start to do is actually start taking down some of our leads, meaning turning them down, no matter even if the price starts to drop turning down some of our leads and really focusing on this next spot. So let's talk about the engagement and we can make some overall kind of decisions and where we should be. But Nick, I'm the one usually doing the ad buying. You're the one who sees the receipt. At this point, from the information that you've seen this presentation top of funnel, where do you think we should make adjustments? We have, this is where I want to have the real discussion. We have two weeks before open enrollment. Do we want more leads for the next week or do we want to start turning up our propaganda and we will look at propaganda numbers in a second? What's your thought? My thought is to turn up the propaganda. I mean, at this point, it, it, our sales cycle is a little bit longer since it's a higher priced product. And so I feel like uh, somebody new coming in at the last minute isn't going to see as much value in our offering as somebody that would have been indoctrinated through the propaganda over uh, a longer period period of time it's allowed that, totally agree. that kind of that that yearning in them to stew for a minute before we make the offer totally agree totally agree i'm excited at this point because we we have not seen leads this inexpensive it was because thank you mike for helping us with that line but we have not seen leads this inexpensive in a while but nick's right there comes to be a point where one it's more cost effective to run with video views but we're going to be selling a, a solution that's two thousand dollars or more so we're not really going to get somebody to opt in the same day. So I got to think about my own seduction. Yeah, I want lots of leads, but Nick's right. If my propaganda can already influence people, no one's going to opt in on Monday, see our open enrollment on Tuesday, and buy on Wednesday. Out of a thousand people, maybe one, out of a thousand buyers, maybe one or two would be that way. Usually it doesn't happen. So, okay, well, if I want leads, why do I want leads? Well, because I want to follow up with the leads. Well, if it's cheaper to follow up with leads that, or if it's cheaper to follow up with people with video views, well, let's look at that. So let's take a look at our middle of the funnel. Again, this is stuff that I, I could even log in, depending on time and your questions, I could even log in and show you exactly how I'm going to do this. So Nick's right. I'm going to be turning down, and it's kind of painful, but I think I may even turn leads off for the next week and a half because instead of investing $8 in a lead, I mean, let's just do this math here real quick. What is 863 divided by 25 cents? 863, whoops. Uh, let's see if I can get all the buttons pushed. Um, something like that, there we go. Okay, so um, I'm curious, what is $8.63 divided by 25 cents? I mean. Either I can get 34 people to watch my video for 25% or get one lead. 
So if I'm thinking about my buckets, I'm willing to be in bucket three for the longer play approach. But at this point, if I can get 34 video views for 25% versus one lead, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my leads right now just because we're two weeks out from open enrollment. I wanna build the relationship, lots of propaganda in the middle, but these numbers are pretty apparent. Though I'm in bucket three, do I wanna pay for one lead or do I wanna pay for 34 new people? Because what we are talking about with our product, as you know, is it's a, it's a, high, it's a higher class product or it's a high class product, uh, but it's a higher price point. So I rather have not a hundred eyeballs at eight dollar leads, eight hundred bucks. I rather take that eight hundred, that same eight hundred dollars per se, divide it by twenty five cents, and I get thirty two hundred people to influence. There's a hundred, which is a pretty big deal. So let's start taking a look at this influence. Okay, so we got the leads. Boom. Yep. Leads are great, but sometimes they can get expensive. I'm not saying I get leads, but if you're propaganda, it can be pretty profitable. Let's look at that. So video views middle of funnel is obviously going to be the best propaganda. Now, I can't say this enough. It's not, hey, they watched this one video and they became a lead. It's indoctrination propaganda. That's why I say propaganda. They're seeing lots of different content. Well, check this out. There's lots of different content. I can get a whole bunch of views in here and we start looking at the math. I've invested $747 middle of funnel, but look at this. If I can get them in my middle of funnel, a 25% video view is like five cents. Now, a 25%, I have shorter and longer videos, middle of funnel, but you, I, I can get somebody 25 cents to watch me for the first time, and then it's a nickel to follow up in the middle. I mean, this is almost like an IQ test if I should be running leads right now or not with, you know, a, a week until or two weeks until we have open enrollment. Well, heck, when I look at the numbers even more closely, middle of funnel, I can start to see Oh my goodness, it's only eight cents to have someone watch an entire video in the middle of a funnel. So do I want to be paying eight and nine dollars for a lead as per se? Or I can get people once they're in the middle of the funnel to really start consuming content. I mean, this middle of funnel bucket for a dime, for a dime, I'm pushing people along and they're watching full content videos. So I think I'm I'm I agree with Nick. This is why we're business partners. I'm going to start turning up that middle of funnel because it's so inexpensive for us right now. I'm actually.